But hey, we're here now. Can't run from it anymore. Uh, we took a week off, you know, things happen, you know, vacation, traveling and all that great stuff. But, you know, we got to give you the OS review of Deadpool and Wolverine. Came out on July 26th. Johnny, I actually seen it on Thursday, the 25th, before I got on the plane. That's right. I know. I remember. <sighs> Johnny, this film came out. I think it did like, I think it did like 500 mil. First week. First weekend, right? It was something crazy um, like that. Or was it 450? Did I get it? Was like, it was like 450 first weekend. That's but I think as of today, I think they're a little bit over 800 million. That's crazy. That's nuts. That's crazy. So, Johnny. Just your initial reaction before we go, you know, kind of throughout the plot of the film before we spoil it. You know, it's funny. Mm -hmm. I know a movie is serious. I know a comic book movie is serious because Ralph usually sees these movies before me anyway. Mm -hmm. But after he see it, he don't text me. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that's how I know it's some serious shit. Like he didn't even say it's only one after credit scene. I know, like, I, didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> but it, it, it also could have been because he was leaving for yeah, vacation just, the next day. Yeah, that's I all. Really, really, I, I just that's be, I just be looking at this. Shit. That's all. <laughs> but um, but no. So I've I've only been able to see it once. I did wanted to. I did want to see Deadpool and Wolverine a second time. Yeah, just didn't have the time. But off my initial viewing viewing. I really enjoyed the movie. I thought yeah. the movie was really fun. Uh -huh. Um, I loved all all of the callbacks. I thought were great. Yeah, all of the jokes were great. Yeah, overall, I just I really I really really enjoyed the movie. Yeah, really enjoyed the movie. Yeah, definitely a enjoyable film. Uh, I thought it was uh pretty good, pretty standard for what you get from of a Deadpool, Deadpool film. Yeah. So um, kind of going having that as how I felt when I left mm -hmm. was pretty good. You know what I'm saying? But uh, you know, we'll get to it. Like I don't. I'm just not, you know, I'm just not all the way in. There. Yeah, yeah, but you know, I mean, listen, I think you're already kind of alluding, alluding to it, mm -hmm. but I think I feel the same way. Okay. It's like walking out of the movie. Oh, this is great! I'm, yeah. I'm still laughing at yeah. jokes that yeah. I heard. Like she was amazing. Mm -hmm. I, all these different Deadpools and Wolf, the Wolverine, like yeah. amazing. But then I get, but home. it hits you. It hits then, you. then I get home. It hits you. It hits you. Then I start thinking. I start thinking about different parts of the plot and. Like just just different things and little nuances throughout the movie, and it's like, wait, a lot of this kind of don't make sense. <laughs> okay, I'll say this right because I, I was trying to say it for the end, but I'm gonna forget the point. Yeah, it's it's more so a lot of fan service in this film, and if it kind of gives me the same feeling that I had when I seen Spider Man Far From Home. Okay. Yep. Oh, no, no way home. No, no way, way home. home. Yeah, yeah. A lot of nostalgia. Not really a lot of. Well, hold on. In this film, it didn't feel like the stakes were there. Okay, I can see that. Yeah, I can see that. It felt like <clears throat> you can't kill these niggas. So, like that—that's that was my thing. I was like, you can't kill them. So, like, well, you can't kill Deadpool. Like, well, was... so okay, and and that's that's a great point, right? Yeah. But the stakes, and 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 that's one of the issues I feel like with the movie. The stakes aren't about. It's not about Deadpool. The stakes is about his timeline, timeline right? Exactly. And it, it did, and like you said, it didn't feel that way. And the reason. We jumping around because it's kind of like he wanted to prove that he was something bigger than himself, right? Mm -hmm. Everybody considered him to just be kind of like what most superheroes are in their first film. Yeah, selfish, all about self. You can't work with a team. That's usually the arc of the first the film. first film. Yeah, <laughs> not yeah. not the third one. So now <laughs> he had to do something bigger than himself and save his timeline, which is you know something commendable. Obviously, if you want your hero to have that, but it's kind of like uh, yeah. But you know, let's start started beginning, right? How did you enjoy the opening sequence, right? Oh, beautiful, phenomenal. I, yeah. I gotta hit the round of applause, right? The, op the opening sequence is honestly what Deadpool is about, just being fun, goofy, and still fighting. And, like, cause and, he did the and same <laughs> and, and grew and gruesome, right? Cause I feel like this is a trend because the first movie he did something similar to um salt and pepper. pepper. Yeah. yeah, so it Amazing, yeah, amazing, yeah, amazing, yeah, like him going to Logan's website. I mean, let's website, website <laughs> gravesite, and digging up the antimanium skull <sighs> skeleton, the whole is body, crazy. like crazy, like that is insane. It's but I mean, I was at all the fourth wall jokes hit. We can just get that out, yeah, get, get that out the way. Like, I, I, I enjoyed all the fourth wall breaks, all the jokes. Ryan Reynolds in that role is amazing. So we'll just, you know, kind of leave it at that. But mm -hmm. the opening montage, like, you know, and then I think before it really got to, like, the like the fight sequence, it did the call back into, like, what actually happened in the storyline with the TVA. Yep. Now, what did you think about the TVA's involvement? Like, you know, how that, how that, that whole thing worked? 
You know what I'm saying? I so I've never as long as the the Marvel TV shows have been on Disney Plus, mm-hmm. I never felt like you actually had to watch the TV shows in order to understand the movie. Mm-hmm. This is the first time I kind of felt like you did have have to do that. Mm-hmm. Now, again, we're we're li- literally, you know, you and I, we're we're enriched in this, right? Yeah, so yeah, we yeah, yeah. we know we're well versed in the TVA because we yeah. watched both seasons of Loki. Yeah. We understand it. Yeah, yeah. But for the casual viewer mm-hmm. that let's just say just likes Deadpool, right? Mm-hmm. That d- maybe doesn't have Disney Plus, have never has never seen the show Loki, mm-hmm. knows nothing about the TVA. Yeah. To in- to introduce it in this movie and not give that much backstory on it, mm-hmm. it's like, ooh, they probably you know, confused as hell right now yeah, on what this is. Because the time variance authority is just a lot to kind of grasp. Yeah. And like the, let's say the 10 minute window that they did trying to introduce it, which is good for pacing. Mm-hmm. And that's like a refresher for us. But like you said, the casual fan or the casual person that doesn't, like they might be going to see because they're like Ryan Reynolds. I don't know. Right. Like, you no, know, exactly, like exactly. Nobody has ever read a Deadpool comic or at least a T, well, a comic book where the TVA was involved. So that's a lot to grasp. But you have to understand that, okay, they're tribe travelers. Yep. But yep. why why do they care about this? So it's kind of like we understand sacred timelines, branch timelines, and all that stuff. This mm-hmm. might this timeline may cease to exist if something's not there. So yeah, that is a lot to grasp. Oh, absolutely. I, I feel you on that. Absolutely. Like, yeah, I again that this is the first time I felt like you actually had to watch a TV show to understand something in, in, in one of the MCU movies, yeah, which they, is kind of crazy. They pretty much had movies. Mobius's character be someone else or someone in that space. Mm-hmm. Like you have like someone that's kind of like that mid management. Like why are these mid management TPA <laughs> niggas always doing stuff, right? You know what I'm saying? They be doing a lot because they bored and they stress about their job and they want to do something greater. They want to have see, a greater purpose. I see. Which is uh, at God. least at least our girl that was like a uh, a TPA. B15. Yeah, she made. Yeah. It. Yeah, she, she the head. She the head. But the, see, the HBIC. You know what I'm saying? I see what you did. Yeah. But also at the end of Loki. When when the TVA was kind of reformed, she became that head. Oh, okay. She became that. She sure did. She, she did. did. So, she but sure again, did. you would have had to see Loki mm-hmm. season two to understand. It. And that's and that's a, a payoff or a callback for us. We like, yeah. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? I I was mad excited. Yeah. I was mad excited. Um, let's get, let's get into the cameos. Okay. Favorite favorite cameos out of the movie. Come on, you already know, bro. You already know where I'm going. Man, I I think Blade. yours might be different. Yeah, absolutely. Blade. Come on. I was not expecting to see. <laughs> I was not expecting to see Wesley Snipes at all. You <sighs> because of well, you know him and Ryan Reynolds had beef, right? Quote unquote. Quote unquote beef. They said they squashed it, or you know, when mm-hmm. it was just a misunderstanding. But nah, y'all niggas never talked nice about each other <laughs> right. for, for, for 20, 20 years. years. 20 years. <laughs> so, nah, That's I call funny. Cap. Nah, he just funny. it was just a way to kind of fuck with Marvel. So I think Ryan Reynolds is like clearly with the shits when it comes to that. So absolutely. But seeing Blade, you know. And him, you know, saying, you know, it's only one blade. Like, I like, I, I like that. I was robbed of the excitement of seeing Blade for the first time. So, like, you, you saw, you saw it Thursday. Yeah, yeah. The movie officially released Friday, mm-hmm. but then also that Friday was the Hall H presentation at San Diego Comic Con. Okay, so you watched it. I so no, and I and. In, a, in an attempt to stay off of social media, I think I'm addicted because I, I keep scrolling. Yeah, yeah, of course. I saw a clip oh. of Ryan Reynolds introducing the actors and the cameos that were in the movie. Okay. So I saw him introduce Wesley Snipes as Blade for the movie. <laughs> and I, I was robbed of that. God, I was robbed of okay. that, robbed of that surprise. So even though I knew he was coming, it was still great to see him on screen. Okay, cool, cool, cool. But if you don't mind, let me take uh, this time. Uh, uh, I uh, need uh, to issue an apology. Yeah, please. I need to issue an apology. Um, Channing Tatum, come come to come to the forefront. Um, <laughs> first of all, let me just give my sincerest, deepest apology to you, sir. For a few years now, there were there were rumors that you wanted to play Gambit in in the Fox Marvel universe. I, my name is Johnny. Um. I sat here and I completely shitted on that thought for several years. Uh, I think the rumors, they recirculated maybe two or three times from, I want to say, 2018 to now. Um, and again, I, I do want to say that this is an apology. Um, I didn't think that you had the acting chops to pull this character off. I am a fan of Gambit. And I didn't think you were worthy enough to play that role. Um, in watching Deadpool and Wolverine, when you revealed yourself to be Gambit in this movie, 
first of all, in the costume, the costume was amazing. The costume was dope as hell. The accent we pretty can, pretty accurate too. Man, super accurate, pretty right? Accurate. Um, the accent, we can talk about it. I, I understand your role wasn't that big in this movie. And had you had your own feature length film that you would have had more New Orleans accent training. Mm-hmm. I think you would have had that. New so accent training. Yeah, no, nah, real shit. That should be the name of this episode. I, <laughs> right, right, write it down so we don't forget. Um so with the minimal amount of time that you had to probably probably prepare your voice for this role, I think you still did a great job with the accent for this particular role. Again, it could have been better, but that's feature length film stuff. So mm-hmm. your fight sequences were amazing. Your dialogue between all characters was amazing. And again, I just want to offer my sincerest apology to you, sir, because I didn't think you can do this. And you proved me wrong. So this is my apology to you. This is to Ch- to, uh, to Channing Tatum. My bad. It's, it's, my it's, bad, bro. <laughs> yeah, I just had to get that out. <laughs> Was it because he played Magic Mike? Probably. Okay. And um, whatever the the fake cop was in Twenty One Jump Street, oh, both of them. Okay. It was a sequel. Uh, yeah. But no, it, I didn't think he could do it. I didn't. But the movie was announced. It wasn't just like yeah, he wanted to play. He was like they, he took a picture. Like it was like a it was like a Fox Marvel thing. It was like Fantastic Four. It was like Nick, he had on a Gambit shirt. He was like, you know how they did the Black Panther promo. I remember. He was he was in the picture. I still didn't think he could do it then. I didn't. I didn't. Okay. I didn't. And um, no, he no, he killed it. He he killed the role as Gambit. I'm not gonna lie to you. I got you. I, I, yeah. And, and Jennifer Gordon wasn't going that, so that's why she came back. <laughs> <laughs> Jennifer Gordon wasn't doing shit. Just like real quick, cause. I don't think people really cared that Elektra was there. Mm-hmm. Would you would you have replaced Elektra's character with another Fox Marvel character? Um, honestly, you probably needed a woman there for balance. So I don't know who else could have went there, because unless you went another X Men character, what and, a- that, and that would have been heavy on the X Men already outside of the MCU. <sighs> you know what I'm saying? Because you already got Gambit, which is a great. That's a great one there. You know what I'm saying? Because who we who we've never had in live action. Yeah, and we never got that. You know what I'm saying? So. Electra probably was the one that made sense. And then I like the dig Damn, at, that at made, Ben Affleck too. That like that was hilarious. Sense. That's yeah, yeah, right. That was that was that was hilarious. Right. Because so, I, I was thinking maybe maybe a rogue. Yeah. But then that, you know, yeah. and then that means her gambit would have been involved. Damn. More than likely. Okay. No, no, no. Uh, no, great, not, great point. But great anyway, point, great but it's just uh but think about those cameo scenes and then S23 being the, the, ring, the ring leader of them. Get that fire, right? Fire. <laughs> but like I said, that wasn't going to make me go see the film. Like, her, <laughs> y'all putting her in the last trailer. Like, I, it's amazing that she grew up to be a, a beautiful young lady. You know what I'm yeah, saying? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's great. It's great. <laughs> um, also, Chris Evans is Johnny Storm. That was like, hilarious. That, that, that was, was great. That, that was great. That was hilarious. Oh, my go, God. Let, let, let's cut to it, bro. Yeah. What do you think about the villain? Um, is it Cassandra Nova? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Um, so what do you think about her as a villain? I don't want to say. <sighs> hmm, she was an okay villain. Let me just start there. She was okay, not terrible, but not great. Mm-hmm. Even though she was kind, I I guess you could say she was the main villain. She was kind of wasn't the main mm-hmm. villain exactly, and her. Somehow having whatever type of connection she did to, I think my man's name was Paradox, the TVA yeah, guy. TVA guy. Mm-hmm. Like that was weird to like it. It wasn't explained. It was weird. Well, this is the thing, right? When you have a powerful villain underneath the thumb of somebody that's just pretty much playing chess, mm-hmm. that that kind of bothers you. It's kind of like the Bane thing. You were saying like you had? Oh, you had, absolutely. It's the same. It's the same concept. Absolutely. Like you got somebody that's truly, genuinely powerful being used by somebody that. Can't hold a candle to them respectfully. You know what I'm saying? If we talk about the film adaptations, I'm not sure about Ali Al Ghul, you know, in that space. But the reason I say that is because, like, if she's Professor Twin, like Professor X Twin, mm-hmm. and she's crushing niggas and, you know, splattering them, doing this, and they, they do all whole that, flesh fly, fly yeah, off. Fly yeah. off. And, you know, she got another Loki uh, callback. Uh, what's the the big cloud? Oh, Elias. Elias. Yeah. Elias comes out of nowhere and on command to eat these people that she just, you know, so she's pretty much like the queen of the void, but she can be more powerful placed elsewhere. It felt like she was placed there by the TVA, but it's like it was almost like it was a prison sentence. Like you can be the queen down here. Yes, 
Mm-hmm. And what made it even worse mm-hmm. is the fact that toward the end of the movie, she had a fucking sling ring and could have gotten out of the void whenever she wanted to. That doesn't make any sense. What? Yeah. She was like, so you just in the void because you want to be in the void? She's like, I killed one of these, uh, one of your magic friends. <laughs> so you mean to tell me you've had this sling ring this entire time? And well, never wanted to get out. But I think the thing is that she's literally the person in charge down there. Like it's really like my show down here. But with how power with no. how powerful she is. Well, if Professor X is somewhere alive in that in that space, mm-hmm. in one of those timelines she can go to, she's not. Because clearly you still need a mag, you know, you need the helmet and you can still, you know, kind of beat her up. At least that's what how it was depicted in the film. You know what I'm saying? Okay. What okay, that makes sense. Now I'm I'm less mad at this. It's, it's not like, kind of no, no, it's still like you can leave whenever you want to, but no, I am that I am her. I yeah. am her down here. No one can fuck with me down here. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm all right. It's cool. kind of like when you find your own, like it's like clearly these people, like these villains find their own space mm-hmm. to where I'm the one down here. You can't fuck with me down here. Right. So I'm trying to make sure I don't forget the, the title of the episode. No, no, I got you, I got you, I got you. But, no, but no, I, yeah. yeah, I was like, well, I mean, but I still think, even in all that that discourse right there, I still think the villain was underwhelming. Got, oh, same. It, Absolutely. It, it still felt like the villain was underwhelming. Absolutely. Because, um, yeah, like, you killed everybody else, but you didn't really have that for, you know, the the main protagonist of the film. Yeah. Of the film. Okay. I think we kind of, we, we even talk about this, but what do you think about Wolverine coming back? Like Hugh Jackman is Wolverine after 24 years. So I so okay. First of all, shout out, shout out to Hugh Jackman, right? Yeah. Because being able to play one character for all of these years, I think it's phenomenal. Yeah. With that being said, mm-hmm. this version of Wolverine in this movie, I think it's probably the most comic book accurate version of Wolverine that we've seen in live action. When and what I mean by that is the whole like the savage beast part of who Wolverine is as a character. Yeah. And I think emotionally this this version of Wolverine is probably the best we've seen in live action as well. Even because, better than Logan? Even better than that version? Because I think this was supposed to be the Logan version anyway. No, so remember oh. that Logan version died. That Logan version died. So oh. this, this, is a, this is a Wolverine from a different timeline oh. whose timeline... Uh, got erased because okay. I don't I don't remember what the reason was, but that that version's Logan uh Wolverine his timeline was gone because okay. all remember all the X Men had died because yeah. he was off somewhere and like the humans attacked the X Men that's yeah, what he explained yeah yeah but I I really love this version of of Wolverine I thought it was great I love the the banter and the back and forth between him and 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 Deadpool yeah. The, I, I, I thought that I thought this Wolverine was great. Yeah, I no, no, I, I definitely enjoyed this version of Wolverine. Like, I mean, I guess it's just old man Wolverine. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just something about the layers and the fact that you know he showed emotion. Like, he really was like, I, I, I lost all my friends. You yeah, know what I'm saying? yeah, L- the only, lost no, the only people that really cared about a nigga. Like, yeah, exa- oh, exactly. Yes. And and with that, in their time of need, he wasn't there for them. Mm-hmm. So that's something that he's had to carry for hundreds of years. Yeah, like that, and this is the crazy. thing too. It's like he always, he always had that struggle of being eternal, like eternal, right? Like yep. he, I can't die, so that's why I don't want to get close to people. And then now I get close to people, yep. and then I could have stopped anything that happened to them, but I wasn't there. Yeah, yeah, no, I enjoyed it though. It o- overall. The cra- the crazy thing about this movie is I feel like it's a, it's a multi it's a multi layer movie right mm-hmm. it's a it's a Deadpool sequel it's it's the cap to the Deadpool trilogy yeah this is a fan service to not only Wolverine but to the Fox Marvel universe the yeah. X Men universe yeah um hold on I had another one too and then also this is the next step in the multiverse saga of the MCU yeah so like with all, all of those things are crammed into this movie. And I think it's a it's a double edged sword. I think it's a good thing, but I also think it kind of took took away from what the movie could have been over overall story wise. Yeah, I feel, it's just so much going it's, it's on. It's kind of like movie. this, right? Ever since they introduced the multiversal saga into the 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 ethos of mm-hmm. comic book movies, a lot of people's movies had to suffer because I made that point. When we were talking about Doctor Strange. Yeah, 
it, it got sacrificed for something else. Now I'm not sure what the actual Deadpool story looks like. Well, we watched two of them. Yeah, so, exactly. But and time travel was already a part of okay, that okay, unit of, of the second, of the second one. one. Yeah. So it's kind of like, well, we're doing it again, and you know, Deadpool gets to get his issue off about Marvel, which is cool because he's now in the universe exactly so that's great but yeah like you said it can be trying to attack too many subjects at one time can be a task now the question is do you think it was accomplished um actually so actually yes okay as much of a in hindsight as much of a mess as the movie was yeah. a, a fun mess yeah i think it does because Let's just look at look at it from the Deadpool sense, right? Mm -hmm. for, for Deadpool himself, all he wanted to do was make his girlfriend happy, right? Yeah, he wanted to show her that he was worth it, yeah. and that's essentially what Deadpool of Wolverine is about. Is because he wanted to uh bait, save an, well, save Vanessa from the timeline being erased, but then also let her know that he's making strides to be a better person. That's mm -hmm. the core of that movie. Yeah, which is which is crazy with everything else that went on. But you know what's so crazy? Ain't, that's always been Deadpool's motivation. That's right? what I'm saying. Yeah, this is okay. it. This okay. is that's okay. exactly what I'm saying. Okay. So that that's from the the Deadpool aspect. Okay. From the from the Fox Marvel Universe aspect, it's kind of it's kind of an ode to Wolverine Wolverine as a character, but then also that the end montage where they had all the the old the B roll footage of, mm -hmm. of of the X Men universe, mm -hmm. it's a it's an old to that as well. Mm -hmm. And then all like with the whole multi multiverse thing, it's something that we've been exploring for at least the last four or five years. That whole the whole movie is centered centered around multiversal travel, yeah, different timelines and things like that. So, did it accomplish it? Yes, but it's still a big it's still a big mess. Yeah, still a big mess. Yeah. So, I don't know, man. I don't know, but no, nah, man. What so? I don't know. Did we? Are we kind of? Well, before we get to anything about rankings about the film, and mm -hmm. um, I think we covered all the cameos. I know they had John Favreau, Happy Hogan. Yeah, there. that was that was pretty dope. Okay, that was also a weird scene to me, right? Okay, that's one of my one of my negative points. Mm -hmm. So at the end of Deadpool two, he had uh Deadpool had cables, time travel watch or whatever. Okay, so he uses that to go to. Earth 616 to ask ha ask Happy Hogan to be a part of the Avengers? That's what that whole scene was about. Like, that was weird to me. That was weird. It's just a way to kind of cram something in. I don't, I don't know. That, uh, I didn't... I was I was more confused than anything. Like, it was cool to to see the... Uh, the, the, the His change, the original Captain America shield, mm -hmm. like, that was in Iron Man 1, and um, like all the other mementos throughout the office, but like the dialogue, it was just weird. Him talking about masturbating with the Hulk hands, like what are we doing? But I know, I know it's Deadpool, but still, like the whole scene, I felt like was pointless. I did. I, I, listen, I, I did. I, I ain't arguing with you because <laughs> I, like, I was so confused. Because a lot of, but anyway, yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> the after credit scene. Okay, again, I understand this is Deadpool. I get it. They could have did something. They should have added a different uh, or added added an additional after credit scene to like tie into the multiverse somehow. Now, was this one funny with him uh, actually showing Johnny oh, Storm saying all that yeah, stuff yeah, that, he's, that, that, that he got, got him killed? killed? Yeah, <laughs> that was it. Was funny. It, it was, was funny. But I like. I guess I don't know, man. Now that I'm actually talking this out because I haven't talked to this movie by anybody yet. <laughs> Now I'm talking. I'm like, damn, it's not kind of crazy. Yeah, it's like this shit is kinda... a train wreck, bro. I... <laughs> oh my god! That's hey. <laughs> now that we're here, yeah, Johnny, out of five, what you going with? I came into this thinking I was gonna get this a four. <laughs> I did. I... I'm not gonna lie, but actually sitting here having a conversation with you, I'm like, I'm really thinking about how much of a mess this movie really is. Even though I still enjoyed it, it's mm -hmm. the it's, it's a really big ball of mess. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to go three. I'm going three. Yeah, I'm going three. Yeah, Jesus. I was because <laughs> that's exactly where I was going. It was like three right in the middle, mid. Wow. But it's not. It's like something could be mid and enjoyable. Like it can be rewatchable. But mm 
if you're being honest, that's all the Deadpool films. And see, so I mean, <laughs> mid. I think it's like it goes. Hold on, no, I ain't gonna start the ranking. We'll rank after that. You know, you know, oh, uh, you, ranking the three, yeah, the three. All right, I know my ranking because I, I thought mine. about that too. Uh, um, yeah, I. Damn, that's it's so it's so interesting. Like <clears throat> being able to actually talk about this out loud because yeah. I, I kind of been holding this in, right? But actually hearing myself say my thoughts out loud versus me just you know watching recaps and thinking about the movie mm -hmm. it's just it's 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 a lot different it's yeah. a lot different it's just okay like the like i walked out of there not feeling underwhelmed but i didn't feel like it was trash either i just thought that it was okay but that's how i felt about honestly when i think about it in hindsight all the deadpool films which is crazy because i initially i was going into this movie thinking it was going to be the jolt of rejuvenation that the MCU needed. And somehow, as much of a mess as this movie is, I still kind of feel that way, which is kind which is crazy. Well, the box office numbers say one thing, but that's that's just because there's nothing else. You know what I'm saying? That and listen, if we being honest, the marketing campaign for, for this movie yeah. was phenomenal. Yeah. Like this is the best thing since Barbie and Oppenheimer last year. Like, yeah, because that because their can't their uh marketing campaign was crazy too. Yeah. So hey, marketing works apparently. Oh uh, yeah. So clearly, listen, man. It yeah. Big big ball of mess, but still the jolt I feel like they needed because the next movie is not a multiverse movie, which I think is a really smart move. Oh, it's <laughs> it's a really smart move. So I don't know, man. Genius move. We, we go. So okay, before we you know kind of close out. Rank your three Deadpool. Uh, rank the the Deadpool trilogies films. Deadpool one, Deadpool three, Deadpool two. Same. Yep. I don't think it was really that hard either. Nope, it was not. <laughs> it was not. It, it really was went, not. It, it was, was not. really not that hard. But no, nah, it's kind of like like I told you how I looked at Spider Man, No Way Home. No Way Home. Yep. A lot of fan service. It's cool. Mm -hmm. And I don't think I rewatched the Spider Man. Since. I haven't. I it, haven't. As I didn't need to. It's even though. Um. Green Goblin was was phenomenal. phenomenal in that movie, but, but it's, like I think it's because we've seen Green Goblin before. Yeah. Like you know what I'm saying? Like obviously it was a, the multiverse of all his villains and the villains that we've seen in live action. But it's just like I think because we've seen William Defoe body the role yeah. already. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of like I. It's cool. <laughs> it's cool that you back my boy. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's cool. And playing the same. Now, if he were to play a different version of the Green Goblin, maybe we have a different conversation. Yeah. Because that's that's the difference with this Wolverine in this movie. This yeah. is a different version of that character. So, yeah, yeah man. Shout out to MCU. 